And let's bring in News Nation medical contributor and board certified cardiologist, Dr. Dave Montgomery. Doc, good morning. Good morning to you, Hannah. Uh, like I mentioned, this is exciting. This is groundbreaking. Is this something that we can get excited about, or is it just too early? Yeah, you know, you could see the excitement on the lead scientist's face. This is, in fact, something very exciting because glioblastoma is one of the most aggressive cancers known to man. We don't have an answer currently to this deadly cancer. When people are diagnosed with this, they are uh, their survival rate is less than two years. So we know how important this is. This is a breakthrough for two important reasons. We talked about the mRNA uh, vaccine technology, which as yeah. Xavier has said, has been in the making for 30 plus years. This is not new stuff. I know it's fraught when we talk about it, especially uh, with COVID-19, but this has been designed just for this purpose for all of those years and here we see it come into fruition. The second part of this, which is really fascinating and very different from COVID, COVID, is that they use the tumor biology of each of these patients, the four patients that they talked about, the four subjects, to, to make the uh, vaccine more specific to that particular tumor. Not every tumor is exactly, exactly the same, and this is why this is such a breakthrough. So, like you mentioned, it's been tested on dogs with terminal brain cancer, a small, small number of humans. You mentioned four, I believe. So what hope does it offer in treating humans with all forms of cancer? What would the timeline be here with all these clinical, uh, clinical studies? Yeah, well, if you zoom all the way out, the timeline has been, uh, you know, three plus decades. Really have uh, uh, scientists and physicians alike have thought that this would be one of the ways that we get through one of the problems in all of human uh, medicine, which is cancer. We don't have an answer to it. So, you know, the, the timeline from where we are now to actually using it in real practice, you know, that's, that's left for us to see what stuff like this, what, uh, studies like this, and there are many other ones, will show us. So we're talking about years in the making. So, uh, but still, again, you know, for us to get uh, an answer to something that has such a high mortality rate, um, is, uh, is a big deal for us. Uh, I couldn't agree more. I heard the vaccine uses the same mRNA technology that we've seen in the COVID-19 vaccine. Can you explain how this technology works? Yeah, so remember the mRNA technology is a technology that essentially retrofits the body to do something more than it was naturally uh, designed to do. So for example, the immune system in this particular uh, study, the immune system is designed to kill off bad actors, viruses, bacteria, and cancer cells. There are some cancers that uh, evade the sort of surveillance and patrol of the our immune system. And what this mRNA is doing is giving those immune cells a little bit more instruction, giving it another tool, another weapon to fight the uh, these these uh, these cancer cells, and so that's how it works. It, it's not um, it's not a vaccine in the traditional sense of you know giving uh, you know a virus particle and then having the body respond. It's actually telling the body make a different uh, tool to fight uh, the fight that you're fighting. This is absolutely incredible. Thank you so much for sharing your insight on this. I know a lot of people are interested in this study, Dr. Dave Montgomery. We appreciate it, sir. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.